So this is a snake's head fritillary, which is one of the probably special rarest plants that we have on the farm. So the field we're in is next to the River Thames and it is a traditional water meadow or traditional hay meadow. So it's got a really big variety of species and it's actually a pretty rare habitat nowadays in the UK. So our star attraction is this, which is snake's head fritillary. Uh, Latin name is Fritillaria uh, meligris. Um, as you can see, it is, it's only just come out this one. So you can see some of these uh, smaller ones just gradually getting bigger. Um, and you can see that these ones have got a bit more open and inside you've got all the stamens and the pollen. So these come from a little tiny bulb, about two centimetres in diameter. Uh, they can live for at least seven or eight years, and they can often take quite a few years to even start to flower. If it's a really wet year uh, and there's a lot of flooding, they won't flower, so you'll just get the leaves come up. Leaves look pretty much similar to grass, so it's very difficult to find out how many you've got unless they flower. And also they don't divide, the bulbs don't divide. They actually uh, spread by seed, so the uh, plant gets pollinated, it then falls over and then the ripe seed capsule gets kind of treaded into the ground. So the key thing is that you mustn't graze them or cut them until the flower has set seed. So that means that you can't really go anywhere near them until probably June. Uh, and so we don't actually do any hay cutting in here or grazing until well into July, which gives them the best possible chance. Some modern farming practices are, you know, grazing cows as early as possible, taking silage in May, and that means that your traditional uh, hay meadow plants, they, they, they can't cope with that. So on this part of the farm, um, we have these fields by the river as traditional hay meadows where we take hay, they flood anyway, um, and we get these fantastic plants.